Hi guys, I'm Stephanie and welcome to my channel. Chinese media has chosen 20 words with creative images to represent the year of 2020. So I thought I'm going to share with you guys a couple of words that can be also used quite frequently in our daily life. Let's take a look. Our very first word oh, is our biggest nightmare of this year, the coronavirus. So how to say that? Uh, well, COVID-19 is known as the new virus thing, right? So the first word is xin, it means new, xin. So xin guan, guan means corona, fei yan, fei yan, pneumonia. Like, look at the picture here, it draws a little long hair, so, you know, happens faster in your lawn. So, xin guan fei yan, xin guan fei yan. Now we all hope a different 2021, right? Well, the second picture is Wuhan Jiayou. Now I want to introduce you guys about these two words, Jiayou. It literally means add oil. Here it means stay strong and come on people. So you can put anything in front of Jiayou or only just to say Jiayou themselves. Now moving on, the next one, we wanted to mention Yi. Now this is slightly long, but very easy to understand. Now Ju here means leave, stay. Now Jia with a little roof over here, it represents your home, right? Jia actually means stay at your home. Now Kang Yi, Kang means come back, fight, struggle with something. Now here means we're going to stay at home and fight with the coronavirus, fight with the pandemic. Now E here means the epidemic, here refers to pandemic. So it has become a slogan here in China and across the world as well. We call it as stay in and let's fight this together. The next one we are all very familiar with, Dai Kou Zhao. Now this puts a mask on top of the word Kou. It's actually written as a little square, which I find this quite creative to put a mask there. We say Dai Kou Zhao, Dai Kou Zhao. Dai means to put on and Kou Zhao means mask. Next one is Ren Min Zhi Shang, Sheng Ming Zhi Shang. I want to introduce you guys this pattern or the way how we use the word Zhi Shang means Number one, or top priority, or first to concern. So if you put something in front of 至上, it means that is your top priority. So when we say 人民至上 and 生命至上, we're actually talking about we put people first and life first. Next one is 上网课. <laughs> A lot of people say, well, if you are students in this year, we're all graduated or we are all in the Zoom university. So 上课 actually means having lesson, having class. And by putting the word 网 in the middle of it, so 上网课 means taking online courses. 上网课, 上网课. Now, since you guys been Shangwang Ku, if you happen to be graduating this year, perhaps due to the pandemic, you couldn't attend to your graduation ceremony. So that's why we have Yun Bi Ye. Yun Bi Ye. Yun here means on the cloud, so you are graduating on the cloud. Well, that's not exactly on the cloud nine situation, but. Uh, Congratulations on your graduation. Yun bi ye, yun bi ye. And our final one is 直播带货. Now, live streaming has been a huge business in this year's China. Due to the pandemic and people are not able to physically visit the physical store, so people have shifted their attention, almost all the attention on online shopping. Now, 直播 means live, okay? Live streaming. Now, 带货 means you are selling the goods. Normally, we see influencers and celebrities, they are using their impact and influence to hoping to draw the attention of their fans and followers to buy more stuff from them. And this kind of way, we call it as 带货, so you are able to bring in, or in this situation, sell the goods, bring in the followers and the fans and sell the goods. So we call it 直播带货, 直播带货. I thought these images are quite interesting, so I want to share with you guys. And I'm Stephanie, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.